I'd actually done my undergraduate at Bristol and I did my masters in the research group that I ended up working for. And basically I just felt like I had unfinished business. The research group that I was working in was like one of the top labs in the world for that particular time. And actually throughout my PhD, some of our collaborators won a Nobel Prize as well. So that really showed that. So I think it was just the environment of Bristol, amazing place to be able to uh, live and work. Great research group, really good uh, research environment. And they were the kind of things that led me to do my PhD at Bristol. When I started to apply for my PhD, I did think about jobs as well, uh, but I wasn't really sure what I wanted to be able to do. But I knew that I really enjoyed chemistry and the work that I did in my master's project. And I felt that actually by doing a PhD, I preserved optionality in the sense that I could learn some new skills, I could learn how to run a project, but I could also be in Bristol, which was an amazing environment to be able to explore other areas. The PhD has shaped my career path in the sense that it gave me some really tangible skills that are super important for me now in my current role. First one, technical skills. In my PhD, I had to learn how to work with large volumes of data that required uh, coding. And so that was like one key thing that I picked up. The second one is communication. Being able to communicate what you do, which is maybe deeply technical, to a non-technical audience. Uh, that was super important in my PhD, but actually even more important in my current role. And then the third bit I think is being entrepreneurial. During your PhD, you can sometimes feel quite isolated, but there's actually always somebody to be able to help you. And so having that drive to be able to seek out the right kind of person to help you at the right time was something that I learned during my PhD and something that I've carried forward with me uh, to my career.